This is your local election headquarters. Tonight we are taking action investigating how many people have been affected by the state's process of removing voters from its voter rolls ahead of Election Day. We previously reported the Department of Justice is suing Virginia over this effort, which the DOJ claims violates federal laws governing how and when states remove voters from their rolls. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander breaks down what he's learned. You'll remember the process in question came to light in August when Governor Glenn Youngkin issued an executive order directing the Department of Elections to make daily updates to the state's voter rolls and remove any individuals who fail to verify that they're citizens to the DMV. Newly obtained data shows Virginia's process for taking non-citizens off the state's voter rolls could be wrongfully identifying eligible voters for removal. So far, the State Department of Elections hasn't provided us with statewide data, but local registrars in Hanover and Chesterfield counties, plus the cities of Roanoke and Richmond, say they've removed 207 people from their voter rolls since August. Meanwhile, in those localities, 14 voters flagged as non-citizens signed a legal document saying that they are U.S. citizens. Therefore, they'll remain on the voter rolls. Voting rights advocates say their ability to remain on the rolls is proof that the DMV data is flawed. Plus, they say the number of affected voters could be a lot larger. You see, the state only gives identified voters 14 days to affirm that they're citizens. The clock starts after a local registrar verifies state data and mails that voter a notice of intent to cancel their voter registration. Once that mail arrives, the affected voter can fill out what's called an affirmation of citizenship form to remain on the rolls, but they must return that form before the 14 days is up. Joan Port with the League of Women Voters of Virginia says that timeline is too tight. 14 days is not a lot of time for someone to to read something like this and say, oh, OK, I better do this, um, particularly if English is not your first language, particularly if you're from a country where getting a letter from the government is a frightening thing. However, others like Republican State Senator Mark Peek say the process is working. They are given multiple opportunities to say, oops, I checked the wrong box, or I got naturalized, I now have the right to vote. There are multiple safeguards built into the procedure. Several localities, including Fairfax County and Henrico County, refused to provide us data for this report. That, plus the state's lack of response, leaves us with a still murky picture of the impact. At the state capitol, Tyler Englander, 8 News.